A fun and safe day on the slopes begins with a ski lift. We will show you some types and tips to keep you safe on your ride to the top. Ski lifts come in a variety of sizes, lengths, and types. Basically, there's two types of lifts, surface lifts and chair lifts like you see here. Surface lifts. The skier or snowboarder stands, staying in contact with the ground as they are towed up the slope. This includes rope toes, handle toes, moving carpets, T-bars, and platter type lifts. Chair lifts. The skier or snowboarder sits on a bench seat as they are lifted above the ground and carried up the slope. Three basic types, fixed grip, where the chair maintains a constant speed, detachable grip, where the chair slows down for loading and unloading, and moving carpet loaders, as we see here. You only need to know three things to be able to ride a ski lift. One, how to load, two, how to ride, and three, how to unload. Loading. You need to prepare first of all, so you take your pole straps off if you're a skier. Snowboarders take their back foot out. Then you're gonna line up. When the chair passes, you move forward to the loading line. Get your poles out of the way, look behind you, then you're simply going to put your hand down to help you sit, and then you reach up and lower the bar as we're doing here. Once that's done, simply enjoy the ride. Always load so the chair is balanced in the middle. For surface lifts, the process is the same, with one key difference, don't sit down. Prepare, move to the loading line, move forward keeping your joints bent for balance, and stay standing as seen here. If unsure of anything, check with the lift operators for direction. Riding. For chair lifts, you pull the bar down, slide your bum back in the chair, do not rock or swing, and enjoy the ride. Stay calm, relaxed, and stationary. When you see the sign, you can raise the bar. For surface lifts, stay in the track, and if you mess up, simply move out of the way. Unloading. You want to watch for the signs and read them as you see here. When you get to the raise restraining device, that's when you're going to lift the bar, as we're doing now. You're going to keep your ski tips up, and then when they touch down on the ground, simply put your hand down, push yourself forward and out of the way. It is important not to break or snow plow until you are away from other skiers and boarders. For surface lifts, disengage and move away from the unloading area. No matter which type of equipment you use, the process is pretty much the same. Prepare, move forward, look, load, and lower the bar. Then enjoy the ride. Unloading, remember, lift the bar and leave the unloading area. Some helpful hints. If you fail to load properly, simply slide off and stay down as shown here. Wait for the lift to stop and follow the directions from the lift operator. If loading with small children, keep the child on the lift operator's side of the chair. When loading with very small children, adult assistance is often required. With little ones whose bottoms are below the seat, bend your knees, grab each child around the waist, and stand just as the chair arrives. You lift and sit as one. If their bottom is above the seat height, put your hand on their midsection and push them to the back of the chair. To keep a little one on, keep their back touching the chair back until it is time to unload. If the chair has a footrest or dividing bar, the bar goes between their legs. This helps. 
if for any reason you do not unload the chair, do not panic. Relax, allow your skis or board to dangle, and they will trip the lift stop mechanism, and the lift operator will then come and help you off. Uh, come around, come around here, sir, please. So get out and enjoy all the places a ski lift can take you, like we are here, right girls? Yeah. Yes.